Master and apprentice have characterized German trades since the 12th century. So plasterer Sebastian Rost and his apprentice Johannes schröter behrens are part of a long tradition. Today they're visiting the construction site at a Berlin opera house. Enormous pieces of plaster and stucco from the auditorium weigh up to 300 kilograms. In a few weeks, they have to be back up on the ceiling. An apprentice must be satisfied with doing simple tasks. In a building next door, many historical rooms are being renovated. Scraping off old paint is tedious, so the right attitude is important. I've always liked plaster. It's a good substance for bringing a space to life, no matter what its condition. When it looks nice again, I get a sense of freedom. You stand in the space and think, wow, now you can look at the ceiling. And if there's a really nice painting on it, well, that's even better. Schröter Behrens has a soft spot for beautiful old things. Before he became an apprentice, he was studying history and archaeology and was working at his university. Now he's 30 and he started a completely new chapter in his life. Sebastian Rost has been taking on apprentices for 20 years. He's seen the good and less gifted come and go. The most important lesson is to learn to listen, stand back, and not think, I can do it all now. They don't get bullied or harassed, but I think that it's important they definitely approach things with a certain humility. Training is an opportunity to learn, regardless of age. That takes modesty, also when it comes to pay. The average monthly pay for an apprentice is less than 800 euros, before taxes. Sebastian Rost's apprentices accept that. Schröter Behrens experiences what vocational education is in Germany every Friday. That's when the somewhat older apprentice climbs into his somewhat older car and drives across Berlin. He heads for the Knobelsdorf Vocational School in the northwest of the city. It's the other part of the dual training system, learning theory in the classroom. About 2,000 trainees attend classes here. They're masons and surveyors, cabinet makers and mechanics. Here they learn the theoretical basics of their jobs. Birgit Heiber is a construction engineer and has been teaching here for 25 years. We're working on the superstructure, in general, what's special about the companies. We then move on to handling materials, for example, because if I know why certain things are the way they are, then I have more confidence when I'm working. The combination of theory and practice, learning and applying, makes Germany's vocational training system a dual one. It's also what sets it apart. Companies and government vocational schools work in cooperation, a partnership found in few other countries. Professor Alfred Riedel of Munich's Technical University researches vocational education. At the moment, Germany has 1.4 million apprentices, one reason for its low youth unemployment rate. They're able to do their jobs in a theoretically considered and practically competent way. They're also flexible as a result and can change firms. Within the German system, once they've qualified, they're in demand as a rule, even outside of the company where they trained. People from abroad have noticed that giving young people a future with a model that includes theory and practice seems to work. More and more countries are expressing an interest in the German system. But adopting it is easier said than done. Germany's dual vocational training system is supported by a high level of acceptance that's rooted within the society. Companies are willing and eager to take part in training people, and it takes time for that to develop. The apprentice plasterer has found his place in Germany's dual training system. He may not be the youngest apprentice, but he's certainly a happy one. It was a good decision. 
It's fun, and I'm looking forward to doing something new, and that motivates me. That makes getting up so early not so bad. You come home early in the evening and say, today I really accomplished something. Now I've got time off. That's great. It's like fire. So, very schön.